What's going on guys, it's your boy J-Ho bringing you a brand new video and today is Friday which means Zer is back for the weekend. We're here in the middle section of the tower on week number 5 I believe and we're across from Lord Shax. So let's see what he has for this week. Starting off with the gear for the Titan, we have the no backup plan gauntlets and this one has intellect strength with the special perk being... Shotgun kills, trigger force barrier, and force barrier's duration is increased. So, pretty average pair of gauntlets in my opinion. There are a lot of better uh, Titan exotics in the game right now. But if you want to, you can go ahead and pick it up. Or you can try gamble and uh, try your luck with three of coins or something like that. And try get some exotic engrams and try get some armor pieces to get something else for the Titan. For the Hunter, we have the Don't Touch Me gauntlets. Another pretty decent uh, piece of gear. I think this one's better than no backup plans though. This one has discipline strength. The special perk on this one is taking damage from a melee attack makes you briefly invisible. Pretty good in PvE in my opinion. It helps you get out of a lot of situations uh, just by going invisible, gaining your health back and stuff like that. So pretty useful in a lot of scenarios. So I would go ahead and pick it up if you don't have one and you have a hunter. For the Warlock, we have the Stag Helmet, the new one from the Taken King. This one has the special perk being once per life, fast super charge when all teammates die, and chance to spawn with overshield. So, pretty decent looking, especially in small team game modes for Crucible, such as Trials of Osiris maybe, or Skirmish, stuff like that. And I think it would be pretty good in Trials in my opinion. Sadly, we're not having Trials this week. Due to the glitch with the Night Stalker Hunter. But you can always try to pick it up and try test it out in Elimination. And just 3v3 or small team game modes in Crucible. And I think it would be pretty decent. So I'd suggest picking it up just to try it out. It looks pretty decent. Going into the weapon of the week. We have the Hereafter Sniper Rifle. Another new one from the Taken King. And this one is pretty decent as well. Crouching increases scope zoom and makes it easier to aim under fire. It has precision kills with this weapon have a chance to cause a bright flash that can blind nearby enemies and magazine is refunded if all shots fired are precision kills. So pretty situational um, effects or perks on this weapon but if you can make those perks happen such as the blinding it is very helpful against multiple enemies. So pretty decent in PvE. Um, it has decent stability, decent impact, decent range. Um, so it's overall a pretty decent sniper rifle in my opinion. So if you don't have it, I'd suggest picking it up because it's a pretty decent one. And then we have the material. So we have the usual heavy ammo synthesis, three of coins, and the new one which is called glass needles. So this one is utilized to reroll your exotic armor pieces. So basically you can use one of these and re-roll the stats on any of the exotic armor pieces. So for example, if you choose this one, you can try re-roll it using this Twist Fate uh, icon at the bottom. And it's pretty similar to reforging if you did that in year one with House of Wolves weapons. Uh, but basically you can use this. It costs tw 250 glimmer, um, 10 armor materials, and one of those glass needles. And you can basically re-roll the stats up here to change it if you want intellect or something. Uh, you can change all these perks over here as well. So it's pretty decent in my opinion if you get a high level piece of armor but you don't like the perks on it and you want to change it. I think those are the scenarios where glass needles would work pretty well. So it gives you three in one pack and it costs three strange coins, three modes of light and one exotic shard. So pretty pricey in my opinion but it would be worth it if you want to utilize its effect on some of your armor pieces so yeah so that's about it for this week thank you guys for watching as always like comment subscribe stay tuned for more videos and i'll catch you guys next time peace